On the 23rd of December, I released my Christmas themed survival horror game Sleigh Bells for free on itch.io and it actually did pretty well, outperforming all of my previous games and reaching the number one spot on the popular page. A bit over five weeks ago, I set out to make a survival horror game where you would be chased by a killer Santa, and that's pretty much all of the pre-planning that went into it. The process of making the game is documented in the previous devlogs in this series. What this final video will be covering is the lead up to the game's release, launch, and the game's reception. If you've watched all the devlogs up until this one, you'll probably have noticed that I've been pretty stressed out about trying to get the game finished on time for the last couple of weeks. The game's development started out pretty quick, and then all of a sudden slowed to a snail's pace when I got to the stage of building the levels. It also didn't help that halfway through I changed the direction I was taking the game in, and also reworked the entire interaction system. But hey, these things happen, and it resulted in a much better game. The last devlog ended with me spending most of my time getting all of the promotional stuff ready for release. The trailer, posters, screenshots, GIFs, setting up the game's pages and so on. You might think that this would be the easy part. Wrong. I find it way more stressful and hard to get right than making the actual game, because these things are what determine whether or not a potential player is going to play it. If the thumbnails suck, then they're not going to click on it. If the screenshots suck, then they're not going to download it. So I spent a lot of time working on these things even though I didn't want to because they're important. Same goes for the game's trailer. I've spent a lot of time in the past editing trailers, but I still don't enjoy making them very much. However, I think I've got my process down pretty well at this point. Once all the promotional materials were finished, I moved on to the final stage of polishing the game on the day before release. There wasn't much to fix at this point, but I had to make sure that everything worked correctly and that it ran on both PC and Mac. I had some issues with the Mac build due to the post-processing stack, but I ended up getting it sorted by updating it to the latest version. Once I was happy with everything, I zipped up the folders and uploaded them to itch.io and GameJolt. By this stage I was pretty tired, actually I still am but I'm going to stop complaining now. I published the game around 9am where I live, which is in the evening in most parts of the US, and then I waited. Not much happened. For hours. Things eventually picked up and I ended release day with about 170 downloads and the game was at number 11 on itch.io's popular page, which is still pretty good compared to a lot of my other games. The next morning the downloads had gone up quite a lot. It was at number 5 on the popular page and quite a lot of YouTubers had played the game. I was now beginning to feel like I hadn't wasted the last 5 weeks. By Christmas morning the game was sitting at number 2. I was close to reaching 1000 downloads and there were a lot of people making videos of themselves playing the game. However, with so many videos being made, I was starting to see a lot of the same bugs happening to people, over and over again. I started to write down the bugs and began to work on an update. I didn't get too much work done on Christmas Day because it was Christmas and I was trying to spend time with my family, but I managed to get the update started. At some point that day, the game reached number one on itch.io's popular page, which was pretty awesome. I've had games get to the fifth or sixth spot before, but never number one. And at the time of recording this video, it's still there. However, since Christmas is now over, I expect it to disappear into obscurity at any point as I don't think many people are going to be interested in playing a Christmas game after Christmas. Now the game has just reached over 2,000 downloads and it's on its way to being my most downloaded game. Move aside backwards massacre, there's a new game in town. Whether or not you consider this to be a success, there's a few factors which I think went into it doing better than any of my other games. First off, I made a game which I thought there was an opening in the market for which is Christmas themed survival horror games. I was looking around for other games to use as inspiration and there really isn't that many, aside from Puppet Combo's awesome Planet of Bloodthirsty Santa and a few others. The downside to this is that there is a very limited window of time for when people are going to want to play a game like this. Secondly, I made a game that I thought would be appealing for let's players and streamers as there is plenty of shocking and scary things to react to. Okay, maybe that just depends on what you find shocking or scary. I'm still trying to figure out what exactly makes the game work on those kinds of levels. But I also didn't go overboard on things like jump scares which a lot of players find to be cheap and unenjoyable. The amount of people who made videos of themselves playing the game is what I think is the main reason for it getting as popular as it did on itch.io. One of the videos has 300,000 views and another has over 700,000, which is crazy. So once again, a big thank you to everyone who made a video of themselves playing the game. Now the update for the game is finished, I think. It contains a heap of small fixes and improvements, but the main new feature is the ability to change the mouse sensitivity. The amount of videos I watched where people said, hey, nice job, it's a shame the mouse sensitivity is trash, is ridiculous, so now you can change the sensitivity to whatever you want. Well, almost. 
If the update isn't out already by the time you're watching this, it'll be out in the next few days. If I can figure out how to properly upload an update to itch.io that is. So now that Sleigh Bells is finished, what are you going to be doing next? Well, I'm glad you asked, but I'm not going to be telling you just yet. I've had a habit in the past of saying, this is the next thing I'm going to be making, and then not actually making it and going with something else. So I'll start to show my next project once I've got a substantial amount of work done on it. So what about videos then? I'll be taking a break from devlogs for a little while, obviously, but I'll still be uploading weekly videos on other game development related topics, as I feel like these devlogs have become a bit stale. I'm going to stop rambling in a minute, but before I end, I'd just like to reiterate on the ending of last week's video by saying thank you to everyone who's come with me so far on my game development journey, watched my videos, played my games, and supported me over the last year. I have a lot planned for 2020, well, quote unquote planned, but it's going to be a lot of fun, especially since I now kinda know how to make games, not really, but kinda. So have a happy new year, and I'll hopefully see you back here soon. Thanks a lot for watching, and goodbye.